As the first truck manufacturer in the world, Volvo Trucks is now launching gas-powered vehicles with equal performance and drivability as a diesel, but with considerably less climate impact and lower fuel consumption. The new Volvo FH LNG and FM LNG trucks are powered with liquefied natural gas that offers two power levels of 420 or 460 horsepower and with a max torque of 2,100 newton meters or 2,300 newton meters. The technique is based upon Volvo's high-performance diesel engines with just a few alterations. This is how it works. In order to give the truck as long driving range as possible, the tank is filled with liquefied gas. The gas is stored in a cryogenic vacuum isolated tank at minus 130 to 140 degrees Celsius. Inside the tank is a hydraulically driven pump that raises the LNG to system pressure and a vaporizer at the end of the pump converts the LNG back to the form of gas, high pressure CNG, around 300 bars. The CNG gas is delivered to the engine via IGM, integrated gas module. Here, the pressure and temperature is controlled. If needed, the gas is kept in the module until the right pressure has been worked up. When ready, it's released and continues its way to the GCM, the gas conditioning module inside the engine. The GCM regulates the pressure delivered to the gas rails and injectors according to the engine operating point. In order to ignite the gas, a very small amount of diesel is needed. The smart fuel injector uses concentric needles to enable diesel and gas in the same injector. The pressure ignites the mixture and the engine starts running. When the engine is switched off, the gas shutoff valve on the engine is closed and any gas remaining in the engine injectors and gas rails is vented out. The engine needs to be vented down because diesel rail pressure controls the injector gas needles. The venting prevents the injectors to open when they shouldn't. A smart module called RTT, return to tank, directs the vented gas back to the tank so that it can be reused. This also ensures that as little gas as possible is vented out in the atmosphere. 